The 74-year-old man is safe after being rescued by a stranger from the fast-moving floodwaters over the weekend. Fox 5's Alexis Fernandez spoke to the Good Samaritan who happened to be driving in the neighborhood when he saw that man swept away. It is a story that you will only see on Fox 5. It was Saturday afternoon when Arturo Castejon was driving with his friend in a neighborhood near Bonanza and Pecos in the Northeast Valley when they noticed an elderly man being swept away by the fast-moving floodwaters. We turned around, we see all this old guy, just whoosh, the water was just taking him, right? Mm. And by, it, was, it was hard to see him because uh, his clothes was like uh, brown, and you know the water and the, the mud and all that is brown, so it was hard to, to see him. But we, we got able to see him. He quickly jumped out of his truck to save him. I didn't even think twice. I was like, oh, you know, I got to do something for him. I got to save him. You know, like, I, I, don't, I don't even know how to swim. <laughs> and I went, jumped from, I tried to open the door first, but the, the water was too strong. So I jumped under, uh, from the window, and then that's what happened. Casterhone gets the elderly man out of the water and carries him to a nearby house. He was just telling me to don't let him go, you know, like, and I grab him, I'm like, I won't let you go. You know, so when I carry him, he starts crying. He said even though he doesn't know how to swim, it was the right thing to do. Maybe we can both die, I don't, I don't know, you know, like, nah, but I think I was still comfortable myself, you know. I was scared, you know, we got to do it because if I think it twice, he can just pass me, pass me by, right, so I won't, I, won't, I won't have time to save him, you know. So I got to act fast, you know, like, I didn't think twice. And we talked to the homeowner where the man stayed the night. She said that the man's name is David and that he wasn't injured and he is homeless. She also says that he left early Sunday morning, so they do not know where he currently is or how he is doing.